Hey folks, this is Saeed, the Coder Grammar, and in this video, we're going to look at an easy way of installing Java on Mac OS. Now, I'm running an Apple M1 Max with Monterey, but to be honest, I think most of these steps will be exactly the same, regardless of which type of Mac you're using. Okay, so why did I bother making this video? Well, there's a ton of ways of installing Java, and a few of them can be a bit of a faff. Plus, we want to get the right JDK, and there's a lot of providers, remember, not just one JDK from Oracle. There are others, and Oracle's JDK wasn't actually free for a while, so that's worth keeping in mind, and as of Java 17, it's free again, so that's good. Also, in Java, I find that things like installation and other simple things can be very complex and complex things can actually be really simple. And I'm saying that as someone who loves Java. So anyway, the best way to install Java on your Mac, at least in my opinion, is to use something called SDK Man, which is a software version management utility type thing. I like it because you can easily switch between Java versions. So let's just take a quick look at the SDK Man site. I won't go into lots of detail about what it can do because really you just want to get Java installed. So going over to install and the command is quite simple to install. SDK man, you can just copy and paste that into your terminal. I'm going to change that to Z shell because I'm using well, I'm using Z shell, but otherwise you can just copy that. And let me just launch item. Don't forget to not copy the dollar. Okay, so we've copied that. And I'm using item, which is just a fancy terminal, but you can just use your normal Mac terminal. Okay, and we'll just paste that in there. Now I'm going to change the bash part to ZSH because that's the shell that I'm using. But most likely you're going to just have bash, so you can just leave it as it is. Okay, so we'll just run that. Okay, that looks all good. Now, according to the instructions, we need to close the terminal. So let's close that and open it again. Okay, here we are in our new terminal. Now we need to apparently paste this command here. Now remember not to copy that dollar again. Okay, and then we can just say SDK version to check that it is actually installed. All right, so that looks good. So now we've got SDK man and that was really quick to install. So the main purpose was to actually install Java. So let's just check that we don't have Java currently installed. We can just run this. All right, so we don't have Java installed. Right, so now if we want to install Java, we can simply do SDK, which is to invoke SDK man, and we can say list Java. And what it will do is list all the Java versions that are available that we can choose from, like a nice catalog. And it's actually got different vendors listed on the left. So you've got Coretto, which is Amazon's, you've got Java.net, which I think is all the open JDK stuff. You've even got, you've even got Microsoft, Oracle, and Zulu. Okay, so now you can just take your pick and it's really easy to pick and choose. For the sake of experimentation, let's install a couple of different versions. So let's first of all pick something like say Zulu Java 11 just to prove that we can pick between different versions. So we'll just copy that. All right, and we'll come out of this and we'll say SDK install Java and we will paste that version. All right, so now we want to install Java 11. So let's run that. Okay, so it looks like that is done. So let's just prove that we have installed Java. We'll say Java hyphen version. Okay, and it looks good. We've now got Java version 11, but really we don't want to stick with Java version 11. We want to switch to a different version. So let's go back to SDK list Java and let's pick a much more suitable Java version. So at the time of this video, Java 17 is the default version. It's the LTS support version. Java 18 is also available. Even 19 early access preview is available, but we're going to go with Java 17 because that's probably the most sensible choice for most use cases. And we want open JDK. So we'll just pick that one and copy that come up here, SDK install Java and then give it the version. Okay. And let's see what we can do. Okay. Now it gives us the option to set it as a default and yeah, let's do that. Let's set it to default. Okay. Now we can say Java minus version and we can see hopefully that Java 17 has been installed. Now say for example, you're working on a different project and you want to experiment or you're trying to reproduce a bug and you want to switch to the different JDKs. Okay. So we'll go back to saying SDK list Java. Now you can see here it's showing you which ones are already installed on your machine. So we can easily switch between these two. So let's just copy this again. Okay, and we can say SDK, use Java and then give it the version and it will just switch to that. So if we say Java minus version, you can see that now it's using 11.0.14. And if you want to switch back, we can just change it to Java 17. Okay, 
and there we go and we say java minus version so we've switched so you can see using sdk man it's really easy to just hop between versions pull down new versions whatever you want to do now when you're switching versions remember that's only applies to this terminal here if you open and close another terminal it will switch back to the default so you need to use the sdk man default options but we won't go through that now because that's probably beyond the scope of this you can just go to the usage page here and see loads of information about all kinds of commands all kinds of useful stuff that you can do so i personally find sdk man incredibly useful if you have a better way of installing java or another utility that's more useful please leave a comment in the comment section below if you found this video useful at all please hit like because that should nudge the algorithm into letting other people know that it's useful and don't forget to hit subscribe for more useful developer content thanks for watching